So good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is George Cabral. I'm here on behalf. I'm going to say I'm here on behalf of uh, the Garcia Group of Companies, um, and we'll explain to you the uh, the organization today. I, I appreciate everybody's attendance. Uh, we did have some regrets. Um, I want to just acknowledge in presence uh, and, and uh, uh, an appreciation, Glenn Munford from um, ASTV. I understand we're being live streamed onto uh, Facebook and some social media. Um, we also want to thank uh, Mahith uh, Gamage for uh, attending as well. Um, we did invite all the media outlets. Uh, unfortunately, they had other prior commitments along uh, with some uh, uh, invitations to all the uh, local districts in Winnipeg, including our, uh, our leagues um, and our association. We appreciate the Manitoba Soccer Association for being in here. And I just saw our, the Manitoba Major Soccer League Executive Director in attendance. Uh, some uh, introductions here for the people up front. Uh, we have uh, two, my, the, uh, my, my right, your left, is uh, Nano Romero. He's a former professional footballer and co-founder of 1v1 Football Dreams Academy. Next to him, seated next to him, is John Garcia, president of the Garcia Group of Companies. Then we have uh, Enrique Garcia. He's a former Canadian U20 player, University of Winnipeg Westman alumni, and co-founder of the 1v1 uh, Football Dreams Academy. Um, as my role uh, with the organization, I'm also an instructor with 1v1 uh, Football uh, Dreams Academy. I'm also a Winnipeg Youth Soccer Association coach for over uh, 20 years. Um, I also want to acknowledge, just so for everybody to understand, the backing behind and the magnitude of the energy that's coming behind um, this new team. Um, in attendance here, I want to thank and appreciate uh, the rest of the Garcia family members, Mabel and Rosie. Uh, we have right, and if you guys don't mind, I know it's going to be the majority of the people in the room here anyway, but uh, just give yourself a wave and acknowledgement. We have Riley Adamo, Taylor Templeton, Enzo Adamo, Rick Marrera, Jose Galan, Brendan Adamo, uh, Joseph Canazero, Ethan Cabral, Prince Amara, Reno Otardo, and Jake Martin. So the format of this uh, press release and uh, this meeting here, uh, we're, uh, we're going to go through a brief uh, presentation of who we are. Uh, and then after that, we'll open up for questions and answers. Uh, we do have uh, a few shirts up front here that you guys are more willing to take. And then, and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, sorry, to view, not to take. Because um, it was just it was a, rush, a rush order. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll address any questions and concerns you guys may have. Um, I want to take a moment now to, I know he wasn't able to attend today, um, I'd like to, we'd like to publicly acknowledge Eduardo Budescu, uh, who founded, coached, and managed the Winnipeg franchise over the years. Without him, we would not be here today, so we appreciate all the work, hard work that he's done for us and for this, uh, for this, uh, this team. Formerly the USL uh, League 2 team, based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada formerly known as the WSA uh, Winnipeg team, is now called FC Manitoba. We'll continue to play in the expanded Central Conference in the Heartland Division of USL League Two. On the screen is our logo. Uh, we contemplated telling you, explaining to you the design elements that went into it. We feel that this is our logo. This is, this is who we represent. We represent the whole Manitoba for all players in Manitoba. We'd like to thank um, uh, Dowski Designs for uh, coming up with this logo. They also worked on our Italenter logo, um, and we are extremely proud to have this to wear as a badge and crest on our chest. Why? <clears throat> we are going to be, will we, we will create the change. <clears throat> it's our turn to choose our path and in turn allow our players in this province to have another path to pro vision. It's not about us challenging the current status quo. It's about us working with the, or, the local organizations, providing another opportunity, not locking ourselves into one particular team, one particular organization, but creating a vision that we've dreamed, that I've dreamed along with John Garcia, um, of providing a, a multiple pathways for every single player 
um, and with with a, uh, a unique vision and culture uh, that we like to bring from that we've cultivated over the years by visiting countries in Europe, in South America, and the, and the United States. A little bit of background between the Garcia for about the uh, Garcia group of companies. They've been around. Has become, they have become a major player in the Manitoba construction, indu construction industry for almost 50 years. The USL League 2 path, path to Pro vision for all their teams and players is a perfect fit for the pathway that we are building. And what is our pathway? It starts with our grassroots program with the 1v1 Football Dreams Academy. It is here where the development all starts and with all, an individual development plan for each player. No two players are gonna be alike. They'll have similarities, but what we will do is provide an, an individual development plan for each one of them. Whether they wanna have a vision and a dream to accomplish to play at professional level, that is up to them. They're in control. What we are here to do is put the player at the center of all of it. It's not about the coaches. Obviously the coaches are, are, are going to be accredited uh, they, will, they will have the necessary certifications, or we're here to, to, to join them in their journey, to, to get them to a place where they want to play. But it's ultimately their, their, their dreams, their desire. We're not foolish to think that, that every single player that comes through our academy is going to make it to a professional level. But we will give them the opportunity and the tools. We will open the doors, and we will continue to do so for every single one of them, no matter where they start. But we would like to see them start in the 1v1 because that's where the grass, that's where the development all starts with us, with our team, with our vision. There's a current trend of fewer competitive players playing after the age of 16 in our province. Um, I have been very fortunate and blessed to have uh, stellar players playing for me over the last few years out of uh, uh, um, one of the districts here in Winnipeg and the Winnipeg Youth Soccer uh, Association. Um, and what I've noticed is that a, uh, a substantial drop-off of uh, youth playing after the age of 15. They'll play their first MSA Cup year, then after that they, they, they drop off. So with our next step with Italy Inter so uh, Soccer Club, which is an adult uh, men's team, uh, we are going to give them the opportunity. Obviously, they will not be able to compete at a 16, 17-year-old as a 16 or 17 year old other than getting permission uh, uh, to play in a, in a men's competition but they will be training with us day in day out to get them to the next level to transition themselves early into an adult men's team here within the Manitoba Major Soccer League. Italy Inter has been around since 1953 started off with our and uh, founded by Ralph Cantafio who is a uh, Manitoba Soccer Hall of Famer. So then every single year that team has been a, a, a big competitor in every, any, any league that's transformed over the years since their inception. Um, recently, as of last year, uh, late last year, our culture has begun, begun to change. We've in, instilled uh, some new, uh, new people into the organization with a different type of vision, a vision that, that um, ultimately up until today um, and the purchase of uh, the WSA uh, franchise, uh, we were we were really only at our at our limit there, uh, so that gives you a little bit of background as to why we decide to 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 uh, purchase the franchise is to give that other option another level. Um, so what we'll do in Italy Inter is continue to develop based on the fundamental and the development that they had in one v one. There will also be intake obviously from other clubs, from other districts, uh, and other academies to come into the Italy Inter uh, soccer club. Uh, and play out uh, and play out of there. And now with FC Manitoba into our pathway, we have that additional step for those players who want to take it to the next level. It is it is not we're not trying to be unrealistic. We 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 will not um, hamper the development of the player. The FC Manitoba team, um, we want it to be an avenue for the players coming out of Manitoba. Uh, we want them to to go as far as they can. It is not about us keeping keeping them. It's not about us uh, winning the championship, the USL League Two. Um, it is about developing the player. We want them to leave us. We want them to get into an international stage. We want to showcase our players, and we are yes, we are focused now on the male player. 
we do have an, an, an organization already in Winnipeg that I've seen over the years successfully promoting female players outside of Manitoba, right? It is now the boys' turn. It's the male component that we're missing. We need to get them out here. And the purpose uh, and our objective is we want them to leave this perimeter. We want them to leave Manitoba, but we want them back. That's the only way that our culture can change here, right? We want those, those, those stellar players to go and play somewhere else, learn some, some, something else, learn from somebody else, and then come back to Winnipeg and Manitoba to teach the rest, the next generation. That's the only way we can improve. So our whole mentality here is about mentorship, mentorship of the player, mentorship of the coaches, right, throughout the entire process, from start to finish. The USL League Two is not just about developing a player, it's also developing the executive and developing the coaches. They have the programs, they have the infrastructure already in play, and we will be using that for our club. A different, a different type of layout here is looking at the, 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 uh, the entire uh, infrastructure that we've put into place under the direction of Nano Romero, we've got the, the 1v1, which is the foundation. That will look, look at ages 9 to 15. In there, they will learn the basics, the physical literacy, the ball mastery, the 1v1, 2v1 uh, domination, and look at a group possession. Going into It'll Enter, that's the program where we, where we will look at the 16 plus age category, with the 16 and 17s being used when they can, with permission to play uh, in a uh, in a men's in a men's uh, game, and there we'll look at developing uh, and building on to what they have learned in the one v one academy with some additional position specific training and showcase them to youth sports, NCAA, and internet and an international recruitment prep uh, preparation and program. When we get to the Manitoba FC, we've got the pre professional eighteen plus, and that's developing the professional for domestic and international recruitment. Um, to answer maybe some of the questions that you have in your head, we're not, we, we would love to see our players in the MLS. We want to see our players in Europe, no matter what division. We want to see our players in the CPL. We want to see our players outside. We want to get them out, out of Manitoba. Our 2020 regular season schedule. There's 14 games, our top, the top team in each division makes the playoffs, our three divisions in the Heartline Car uh, Conference this year, uh, with the additional of, uh, I believe, three additional uh, franchises. So they split it up into three divisions. Only the top team makes it to the playoffs. Our first game is away in Caw Valley on May 21st. Our first home game on June 7th versus Thunder Bay. We conclude our season on July 10th. Um, this is our last slide. I'll open up the questions uh, and provide you with the answers. There are the three individual uh, people up front here that I previously introduced. You guys are more than welcome to ask the questions. Um, I ask that you look at our social media um, that uh, we have in place. We do have our, uh, our email is up on the, on the screen. There are Twitter accounts, the Instagram account, and the YouTube account as well. Uh, we will, our next steps is to um, uh, do our, a formal announcement of our kit, which we're currently working on. We're also interviewing and recruiting a head coach and, um, and our season, tickets, uh, season ticket information. That's all I have. I don't want to keep you guys here for longer than you guys want. It should be. Um, and now I'll just ask for any questions that you may have. Well, I thank you all for coming. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect.